what is up guys uk here today with another road to grand champ series in last episode we were playing against bronze and silver players this time we are silver so hopefully we can give you guys some tips and yeah make sure to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already really important it's gonna help me reach my milestone of 100k I'm basically grinding my way until I hit 100k. I don't care. I am grinding up there. Okay. So what I already saw, kickoff. Focus on the kickoff. Ouch. Oh. <laughs> he bumped me away, but that's fine. I'm just gonna like look at that. I'm not sure if that uh, guy is actually using the Dignitas decal or not. Oh, he's camping in the net. Oh, is he using the Dignitas decal? I can't see it. I'm just gonna look. I don't even mind. No, it's not the Dignitas decal. I thought he was using the Dignitas decal. Oh, that almost was in. My teammate is really camping in the net. That is funny. Don't do that, guys. <laughs> That's exactly why you shouldn't camp in the net. He was basically not doing anything for 30 seconds and conceded a goal. It just makes it really awkward, guys. If you find yourself camping in a net and... Not, guys, remember, it's a momentum game. You have to keep your momentum constantly. And instead of like... Um, instead of like standing in the net and camping, instead you just want to rotate out, you know what I mean? Like just use your direction change to rotate out, you know what I mean? Don't... Stand still. <laughs> it's not worth. My mate is a donkey. Interesting. I think you're just standing still in the net. Never mind. He's not even standing in the net anymore. <laughs> Where is he going? It's fine. I'm not here to blame anyone. I'm just here to give you guys some tips on what you shouldn't do. Okay, he didn't go for the kickoff. Interesting, but my goal is to not lose a single game, so if it comes down to it, I will actually try hard a lot and just try and like score goals on my own. Okay, I feel like my teammate is not even playing. Yeah, I feel like my team is not playing and his name is I hope you can play. Okay, whatever. I'm not here to judge anyone. I'm just here to play, win, and then analyze on what they can do better. By the way, if, if I like queue into you, by the way, and you're watching my video and like the... I look at your point of view, like, don't think I'm trying to, like, flame you or so anything. I'm just trying to, like, give advice for other people that are stuck and have similar problems of what they can do better or differently. You know what I mean? Basically, criticism. Like, I'm not here trying to, like, blame or say something is wrong. I, I know it's what it seems like, like, just from experience, I know what usually... Makes your playstyle more consistent, basically. And consistency is key in Rocket League. I don't know why my team is trying to own goal, honestly. Oh, I missed. Yeah, my team is own goaling. Like. 
Why is he on goaling? That is the real question. Is he like boosting the opponents or something? I feel like that might be the case. <laughs> oh, okay, because I'm smurfing. Okay, I assume that's why. Okay. Oh, he actually saved it. Nice. I mean, guess I'm playing a 1v3. Right. I'll have to try hard a little bit, I guess. I hope I can still. I only have 1 minute 40, so I guess now I'll have to really try hard. If I still want to win this game. Oh no, he's not going to score it, right? Alright guys, I'm sorry, I will have to just constantly score goals, I guess. I'll have to try. I don't really want to lose, because my goal is to like... Like win everything, so that I can like... Give tips for every single rank, because otherwise I would just give tips for silvers all the time. You know what I mean? Wow. <laughs> nice. He reports me, but he's the one who's throwing. I don't know. He's the one playing 1v3. I'm just trying to like make content for people, dude. To help them out, reach the rank. Uh, yeah, yeah. Oof, that guy, right? Unsportsman like conduct. <laughs> Unfortunate. Yeah, I guess see what I have to do just to help you guys out. <laughs> but I don't even mind. I'm doing it for you guys. This is not for me. I don't get anything from playing against silvers. I'm just trying to help you guys out and give you tips. Because then I can like experience it myself of what is happening in your guys' experience. So I, I, I'm feeling bad if you're in silver right now. If you guys are in silver right now... I'm sorry for you. <laughs> I feel very sorry. I can make it at my level. I'm just doing this for the content, bro. I'm just doing it to help people out reach their dream rank. I'm trying to make a good cause with that. I know in the game right now I might not be doing a good cause. But at the end of the day I'm helping a lot of more people. Hopefully. I hope you guys like my tips. I don't even know myself. I don't even know if I should even analyze this, honestly. What can I analyze? My teammate own goaling? I don't even know what I can analyze here. I'll try and find something. <laughs> Let's see at the start of the game. My teammate with like standing still. At the start he... So here the kickoff I see already from a teammate. It changes way too many directions, so he's not familiar with like how much you have to press the button. And then he flips too early, side flip, and then he lost the kickoff by crazy. Very good tip. It seems like he's just focusing on the ball. Look, whenever you feel your teammate is in your corner, right? You always want to give your teammate space and just let him do his stuff. He takes the boost here and he goes into my direction like look at my my point of view like here my teammate is like in i know he's like on the floor so this is totally fine for me in reality but you never want to 
it can always happen like bad stuff can happen if you just go under the ball where your teammate is if i was on the floor this would be real bad he would probably bum me away so instead of like just a good thing i can a good tip i can give you guys here instead of like flipping forward into my direction just flip into the middle diagonally towards the net and towards your own net and then you can still turn around you know what i mean you don't want to flip into the corner because i am there already and then he turns around like he would be totally fine by just by doing it and then here he just bumps me away i think he was really trying normally i guess that's fine and then he goes all the way back and then he stays in that and this is how it starts like here this was his ball like see why you don't want to stop you always want to keep moving keep moving look i want to rotate basically i want to go into the net and let him go for the ball so that in case he gets beat after he goes for the ball i'm behind him and instead we are both chilling in net now because he doesn't go here so i accidentally bump into him and then i have to go instead of him like already being there and trying to challenge and now he like just stands in net he stands in net <laughs> take a guess he's still standing in the net wait have I said that he was still standing in the net? <laughs> Alright, enough jokes. But yeah, he's just chilling in the net, I guess. And then the, the, the shot happens and he can't save it. Why? Because he was still standing in the net. <laughs> okay. Here. Don't, don't do that. Never go to the mid-right boost. Either follow or go for the corner boost. Or, yeah, pretty much. Follow or go for the corner boost. The left one here. Don't go to the right one here. Even in this situation, I think going for the left boost is better than going for the right boost, honestly. Or just following. But it, yeah, whatever. This is why he left the net open. Alright, I, I can't analyze more in this game i'm really sorry uh hopefully next game we'll get a g a good lobby and we don't have to you know play a 1v3 okay so i'm gonna go for the corner boost here i like to first go for the corner boost just to see how my teammates kickoff is all right let's see this on the wall i'm just gonna steal this boost because that's the better long term um thing to do nice good pass it's a good demo good interception teammate shouldn't drive backwards here I, mean, I should mark this just in case nice yeah i mean they can't do much there i shouldn't even do that honestly yet i feel like that's like in silver they can't they obviously can't save that yet but yeah i marked it i hope i remember to address this of what happened um like as soon as i die he has to play it safe instead of um instead of like once your teammate dies and they have the ball possession you can't risk and drive backwards you know something you have to like rotate back as well because your teammate is going to be back and you don't want to leave him in a 1v2 in case something bad happens basically I just want to look at this as well. I'm just going to boom the ball, see if they can read anything that goes to the backboard. They can't. They struggle with that still. Try and beat him. I'm going to try and like take the boost here. Don't really have to. They're going to panic a little bit. As you can see, they panicked. I didn't even want to hit the ball and they kind of panicked. Because I was just there and they thought there's a possibility that I could... Uh, score just beat him and hit it to the side constantly take the boost just gonna keep up the pressure and rotate fast back just in case just gonna wait for the touch if they can so they haven't touched the ball interesting all right i'm gonna try something here is it in already all right okay i totally get the flipper set onto the backwards afterwards so like flipper set off the ball instantly and then just get the rebound with using my flip basically it's 
<laughs> I have to rotate here quick. Good boost grab by this guy. I'm just gonna like get some boost and then wait in out of what they're doing. Good team wants to go for this. I'm gonna take over here. Oh. Could have scored honestly. I should have, but you know, I don't wanna like in reality I don't really have to like outscore them anyway. Because otherwise we don't find a lot of things and tips I can give you guys. Alright, right now. <laughs> Just go for the demo to open up things. Something you can do as well. Oh. It is a little bit risky. So here, once it's risky, just go back and grab as much boost as possible. See the mid lane? Really helpful in order to get some boost if you have to go back as quick as possible to the net. I'm gonna try and like read this for fun. Did I get it? Close. Back pass maybe, teammate? Um. Okay. There it is. There's the back pass. Cooks your pinch for fun. Ah, really bad one. Really bad one. Here, once you can't reach it, you can always go for the demo and steal the boost. Sometimes you have to think about the long term process rather than the short term. Like what is good for the for the long term to keep up the pressure and make it awkward for them. All right. Okay, he's going for the kickoff. Yeah, I think I probably have played too, too crazy, maybe. I should have probably chilled out a little bit. I didn't have to, like, play, score that many good goals. Like, I could have relaxed a little bit more. So, let's check out the, the replay really fast. We don't don't want to waste too much time, I guess, for that today. Disease. So this is silver too. I'm not party up. I don't want to party up. <laughs> I don't really want to party up. Okay. So where have I found it? So the first thing I already saw. Wait, let's see their kickoff already. Yeah, guys, they are still using the like they're still just driving towards the the, the ball. You have to single flip and then do it. That's a good center. His recovery, not the cleanest. And here. No. Just rotate back. The ball is behind you. You have no boost. You can't score this. You can't. You don't have enough time. Don't try. Just keep driving back. Get as much boost as possible and help your teammate out because you just died. Because now you, I would be in a 1v2. And that's just a ceiling shot. double yeah i don't really have much to say honestly here instead of like breaking and jumping this is what a lot of people do you remember what i told you guys keep the momentum up don't wait don't break don't break that much if you break you can't get power you can't how are you gonna get power if you break, you lost all your momentum. And then you jump out of standing. Never a good idea. Never. Like, how are you going to get power? The best thing you can do is just wait, float, float, float. Like, you can drive backwards and then start your momentum early before the ball comes to you. You know what I mean? Like you can get further back and then start using momentum again. So that you can, like, at least have momentum before you hit the ball. Because if you have here no momentum and then you try to hit the ball, you're not gonna have, you're not gonna have a good, powerful touch. But yeah, here I would say either double jump aerial fast, remember, without st stopping, or just take your time, stay on the floor, and then catch it one first touch and then a powerful shot. Yeah, other than that, I don't really have much to say, I guess. Maybe here again, stop, jump, no momentum, never gonna get power. You have to try and get momentum before you touch something. Even if it's difficult, even if you miss, it's for the future. Alright. 
All right, guess today's tip, momentum. Keep up the momentum. But uh, yeah, don't break. And yeah, I will end today's episode here again. We are at Silver 2, Division 3. I hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure to subscribe to the channel if you found this episode enjoyable and fun to watch. And yeah, leave me some feedback in the comment section below. Other than that, thanks for watching and see you guys in the next video. Peace.